game called Pathfinder Revolution uh, from Steve Jackson Games. Steve Jackson, best known for uh, best known for Munchkin or Zombie Dice, but Revolution is also one of theirs, and they got the license to Pathfinder to make. Path, a Pathfinder-themed reskin of Revolution. As far as I remember from the one time that I played Revolution <laughs> three years ago or whatever it was, this seems like it's pretty much the same game just with a Pathfinder costume. Nice. Okay. Uh, so you have an advantage is what you're telling yeah. No. <laughs> not That's in the not what I'm telling you. Why you the <laughs> okay, so this game is uh, is pretty simple. During the setup, Everybody got a little baggie of colored uh, influence cubes Ooh. and a matching colored uh, player screen. Ooh, color. We all also have one of these big boards. Make sure it's on the purple side that says five to six players because we have five of us tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, regular Revolution is only playable three or four players as far as I remember but there is an expansion that makes it playable with five or six. So we've all got a big board, we've all got player screen, and a little baggie of influence cubes. We all start with a purse of five tokens that includes one force token, one blackmail token, hey. and three... <laughs> Why? <laughs> and, and three uh, gold coins. Around the outside of the board there is a support track. These are victory points. We've got little tokens okay. to track our support. If you get all the way around, do a full lap, you just flip that thing over to the 100 side. Oh, damn. If you get all oh. the way around again, <laughs> we have a 200 you win and a the 300 game, just be token done. as well. It doesn't normally get that high? Probably not till end game scoring, okay. I would this. think, but I don't know. Shape of the game is pretty simple. Every round, at the start of the round, you're gonna look at the tokens that are in your purse. If you have less than five Delicious. total tokens, you make up the difference with gold from the bank. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's these tokens here, right? Yeah, all, all of these. We all start with five tokens. They're the same five tokens at the start of the game. Every round after the, that, it's gonna be a little bit different. If you have less than five at the start of a round, you just add gold tokens to your purse until you have five to right. tokens mm -hmm. to start with. Then, everybody needs to declare what they have in their purse so that everybody knows what they're up against okay. for the round. And one cannot lie, correct? You cannot lie. Right. It should, it should, it's just public information at the okay. start of the game, or the start of the round, what is in everybody's purse. Then, you'll load up your player screen around your bid board here so that nobody else can see what you're doing. Uh, I am going to remove my player screen so that everybody can see while I'm teaching Amazing. here. All of these spaces on the bid board are color-coded to tell you which tokens you can use to bid on each of those spaces. Mm -hmm. During the bidding phase, we're going to secretly bid all of the tokens in our purse on spaces on the board, mm -hmm. up to a max of six different spaces. If you bid on more than that, then we, when we get to resolving, if you've already had six spaces that you bid on resolved, anything past that, you're just gonna burn those tokens to the bank because okay. you messed up. Um, and Same is that, thing. That's resolved positively. Like, if I put seven down, and I win the first six, it's done. Or if no, you can only bid on six okay. total uh, spaces, win or lose. Okay. Can you double up on tokens? Uh, yes, you can stack multiple tokens. I could put all three of my gold pieces on that commoner space if I wanted to. I could not put a blackmail or a force token because that space is gold. So I can only that that can only take gold bids. Again, if you bid anything that you're not supposed to on a space, you just lose those tokens to the bank. The type of the token determines victory on the space first, mm -hmm. and then it's the number of tokens second. Oh, okay. The strength of the token goes force beats anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Blackmail. Of course. Blackmail beats gold. Take that gold. Uh, <laughs> so if, for example, I were to bid Let's go to a space where I can bid any type mm -hmm. on this fisherman. If I bid a force token on the fisherman. And I bid gold. And, and yeah, Allegra bids gold, I win that space. Even if you bid all three of your gold tokens on that space, mm. my Damn. force token trumps any number of gold tokens. Okay. If, however, both of us bid force tokens and you also put a gold token on the space, you win the mm. you win the bid. Okay. If I bid a blackmail token, yeah. then that blackmail would be the gold. If you tie on uh, the the highest strength of token, then right. you go to the next 
lowest strength token, or next highest. Uh, if the highest bids for a space are tied, no one wins. Nobody gets anything. If you win the bid, then you get whatever the text is on that particular space. Mm -hmm. If it says you get force, blackmail, or uh, gold tokens, you just take those from the bank and put them in your purse. Your purse will be empty when we get to resolving bids. Presumably. So, no, it has to be. Oh, it has you to have be. to, you you have have to bid, bid all, all the tokens. tokens from your purse okay. during the bidding phase. Once we're resolving, your purse is empty, but you can refill it through winning bids. Through winning or getting, and that's why you only get gold. You only get gold to make up the difference <laughs> because, of, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Because it's the <laughs> weakest one. <laughs> If a space you win says that you gain support, you He's simply dog too. move okay. your <laughs> mm -hmm. score tracker around the score track. Uh, if it says that you influence a space, mm -hmm. you're going to take one of your influence cubes mm -hmm. and put it on a, a space on the corresponding uh, a location mm -hmm. on the board. Sorry. Unless, if it's, a, if it's a location that has just the white squares, mm -hmm. if all of these are filled, they're filled. You yeah. can't you can't add new influence to those spaces uh, through gaining influence at least. Mm. Uh, if there if it's a space that's got a star, then once those are all filled, you'll get to choose an opponent's cube to replace. Why don't we go through all of these spaces? So, commoner, uh, you'll gain a force of blackmail and in, add influence to the shingles. Headmaster, you'll gain a support and a force and influence to the university. Field marshal, you'll get force and influence to the high bridge, uh, etc. and so forth. Uh, special spaces. Let's see. Guildmaster, you get to influence any open space right. on the board. Nice. In addition to the thief camp. In addition to influencing the theme, thief camp. Mm -hmm. Crime Lord, you get to choose between eight support or two <clears throat> blackmail. Uh, Monarch, you gain the reward from any bid space that is earlier in the track. We're going to resolve everything from left to right, top to bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll do the top row, then the second row. So if you win the Monarch, you get to then claim the reward from any one of these spaces in the first three rows. Okay. The Seneschal gets you control of the Sea Watch Tower and, and, this, and, and this add, add, add influence to Citadel Crest. Mm. Uh, which makes you immune to Cats Do Lofties and Red Mantis. Cats Do Lofties, replace an opponent's cube with one of yours. That is oh. any cube, not just the ones on star spaces. Oh, damn. Any mm. cube can be replaced uh, with Cats Do Lofties. Okay. With Red Mantis, swap any cube in a key area with a cube from another key area. So that's also any cubes on the board. You can just, so I want control of Citadel Crest, so I'm going to swap one of Allegra's cubes for one of mine in High Bridge, because I don't care about that one, I'm not gonna win it. The Magistrate lets you move one of your cubes that's already on the board to a, a different empty space. Those last three spaces are the only way that influence that's on square spaces gets moved or removed. Right. Mm -hmm. Once we have resolved all the bids on the bid board for the round, and win or lose, all the tokens you bid go back to the supply. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Once we've resolved everything on the bid board, uh, we will check to make sure that it's not time to end the game. The game ends at the end of a round in which every one of the square spaces on the board is occupied. If that happens, then we move on to end game scoring. If not, we recycle and start, start the next round. Mm -hmm. End game scoring, for anything that's in your purse, since you're gonna be gaining tokens to your purse through the bid board, uh, you're going to gain some support. Force tokens are worth five. Black tokens are worth three. Blackmail tokens are worth three. Uh -huh. Damn right. <laughs> uh, gold tokens are each worth one. Five, three, one. Okay. Yes, at the end of the game, for anything that's left over at the end of the game. Then we will look for who has control of each of the key areas on the board. You have control if you have the most influence there. If okay. there's a tie, nobody has control. Nobody gains anything. Mm -hmm. But if you have control of an area, you're going to gain that much support for your mm. final score. Uh, cool. I have a, uh, that's how it a manipulative so question. Yeah. Yes. Um, theoretically, not to introduce a strategy to people, but <laughs> um, Red Mantis is any cube, right? Yes. It doesn't have to include my own. Yes. Swap any cube in a key area with a cube from another key area. So I, I can swap 
yours, if you yes. like it. Exactly. Oh, no. You can be a chaos agent. Stop. Try to manipulate a well, tie in a yeah, high value. I can, I can make yeah, it a tie. Exactly. Yeah. So, as far as the board goes, yes. With the exception of having a position at the Sea Watch Tower, nothing really matters until the end game. As far as yes. Okay. These Great. these Great. don't gain you anything support. until the end of the game. <laughs> if you've got the most. Let's no. Play the game. Hey, thanks for checking out BNB Tabletop, the home of the board and barrel. A live show every Sunday night at 5 p.m. Pacific where me and my buddies play board games. If you haven't seen it, you're missing out. We like to keep things interactive with our buff and nerf house rules that allow you to influence the course of the game and virtual bingo cards that could win you a free board game of your own. So do us a favor, do yourself a favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ding that notification bell. Thanks again for stopping by. We'll see you Sunday night.